DC Council is moving forward with sweeping changes to DC's criminal code. They passed the revised criminal code act after overriding a veto from DC Mayor Muriel Bowser. So what exactly do these changes do? Let me fill you in on three things you need to know tonight. First, the new legislation would nearly eliminate mandatory minimum sentences. Second, judges would have more power to give someone probation for a misdemeanor instead of prosecuting a crime. And third, this bill would expand a defendant's right to a jury trial. Now, these are just three of many changes. So what happens next? Well, we looked at information from the D.C. Council, the D.C. Code and D.C. Home Rule Act to verify. And as of now, the bill that would change D.C.'s criminal code is an act of the council to make it a law. The D.C. Council has to send that act to the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, and President of the Senate, Vice President Kamala Harris. Congress gets 60 days to review it. If they do nothing, the act becomes D.C. law. If they don't like it, the House and Senate can file a joint resolution disapproving the act. That resolution would then go to President Joe Biden's desk. If he signs off, the D.C. Act gets rejected and the council has to start over. This is why we have been pushing for D.C. statehood for so long. So we can verify that even with the council's override, the bill is not guaranteed to become law, but you can count on us to let you know what happens. Goes up the chain. Up the chain.